Hello, and welcome to another Novastore training video. My name is Clay, and today we will be looking at the disaster recovery feature of the Nova Backup Professional, Server, Business Essentials, and XSP or Remote Workforce products. Disaster recovery is referred to as an image level or bare metal backup solution. Bare metal backups are designed to restore an entire machine, including all documents, software, and even the entire operating system without any prior software installed on it. Additionally, our disaster recovery module also includes the ability to restore an image to a different machine than the one it was created on. This allows you to quickly and easily recover a machine that has gone down without needing to have an identical set of hardware on hand. The disaster recovery module contains three primary components. The disaster recovery boot disk, backing up and restoring an image, and scheduling additional image backups. The Disaster Recovery Boot Disk is a specialized version of Windows that includes the Nova Backup Disaster Recovery Module. This disk allows you to boot into the Disaster Recovery Backup and Restore Wizard without any other software installed. To create this backup, you will need to download additional software from Microsoft and any third-party drivers needed for your system. Please see our other training video, Creating the Nova Backup Disaster Recovery Boot Disk, for more information and tips. The next components are the Backup and Restore sections. The Backup section of the software contains only six options. Which disks or partitions you want to backup, what type of backup job you wish to perform, the image type of the backup, the destination and location of any previous images, if necessary, and the choice of compressing or verifying the backup. The first section allows you to select which disk or partition you wish to backup. In this example, I've chosen the whole of disk 0, my primary boot disk. The second section allows you to choose which backup type to use. If you are performing a differential or incremental backup, you will be prompted to provide a previously created image to be compared with. The third section allows you to choose the type of the image you wish to create. A used sectors backup will only create a disk image of the currently used portions of your drive. This means that if you have a 500 gigabyte drive and only 100 gigabytes used, your image will only be 100 gigabytes. A forensic backup is the opposite and will back up an entire disk, even the empty space. In this case, a 500 gigabyte drive will result in approximately a 500 gigabyte image. Forensic Direct allows all of the data to be copied directly from disk to disk and is generally only used for encrypted drives. The fifth and sixth options are the options to compress or verify the resulting image. Compression will depend on the type of data you are imaging and the option to verify will help ensure your image is identical when the time comes to restore. The next section is the Restore. The Restore section of Disaster Recovery is used to restore an image to your machine or to export it to a virtual hard drive and contains five primary options. The first option is the location of your existing image and you can browse to the location if needed. The second and third options deal with deciding which drives you are restoring, and their target destinations. Here, you can choose which parts of the disaster recovery image you restore, either the whole disk or just a partition, and where you wish to restore that image to. The fourth option is important if you're restoring the image to a different machine. Please note that depending on the particular configuration of your hard drive, you may need to perform the machine-independent restore in a two-phase process. You can find more information about that in our guide on restoring to dissimilar hardware at support.novastore.com. The fifth option allows you to export the disaster recovery image to a VHD file. VHD files are virtual hard drives and can be used by Hyper-V, ESXi, and many other virtual interfaces. The final section of the Nova Backup Disaster Recovery Module is the scheduling component and is very similar to the backup component. The first screen of the disaster recovery scheduling component will ask you which disks or partitions you want to image, and you can see here that I've chosen the same disk and partition as the previous example. 
The next screen is identical to the previous backup screen and contains the name, destination, backup type, image type, and compression or verification options. The final screen of the disaster recovery module is the scheduling screen and allows you to choose how often you perform the schedule, the name of the backup job, which user the backup job will be run as, and the timing of the backup job itself. This concludes the Nova Backup Disaster Recovery training video. If you have any questions, always feel free to check out support.novastore.com and submit a ticket to our support team.